All right, we are here with the legendary ladies of Xscape. Ladies, can you believe we are here 30 oh. years later Ooh, celebrating yeah. an amazing catalog, by the way. Thank amazing. you. That's still yes. going hard in 2023. Thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. So much so, I feel like that's what brought us here. Taking it back to pandemic times, the versus battles were everything. We were all looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. When they said escaping SWV was about to go head to head, <laughs> internet went wild. <laughs> <laughs> went wild. Yes. So tell us how all of that came to fruition to lead to a reality show on Bravo. Well, I mean, well, the reality show really came from the verses. Um, yeah. Mona Scott Young, she, you know, knew that it was a lot of hype around the verses. And so she came back later with this idea to do the reality show together of us, you know, having a performance and all of this stuff. We weren't necessarily so hyped about the idea. <laughs> <laughs> But, okay, so Candy and Tiny, you guys have done reality show for years now, like yes. on a very consistent basis. Tamika, how did you feel entering this space? Because you know they how you had this space. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing. It was, you know, this is my second rodeo, so I'm, I know how to mount up on the horse a little bit. I just don't know how to stay on. <laughs> <laughs> so the queens of R&B, we see there are some people falling off the horse a little bit, only two episodes in. But I feel like that's what we have come to expect from reality TV. Yeah. Times. Just about the ride, just the emotional toll that the ride takes with, this is real life. Entertainment for mm -hmm. us, but you live in this. No, yes. it's definitely real life. Um, that's the cool thing about our group anyway. We are very transparent. Yeah. Um, even if the camera's around, we're still going to say how we feel. Um, and we do have a lot of inner turmoil that it really just has never been totally cleared up. Mm -hmm. And obviously it played out on television. We didn't necessarily, we don't necessarily want it to be that way all the time, but when you are transparent, you can't help for people to see what's happening. Yeah. Um, on the show, it's really about the two groups coming together, trying to make this concert. Obviously, um, as we coming together, you got two strong groups, two groups of strong women. Yeah. Sometimes you're gonna bump heads, right? Um, and it did get a little, a little tough. Mm -hmm. um, but I think for me, the toughest part was just the inner term, inner term oil within our own group. And that's the thing. So you don't know if they have their own things going on, and then you have yours. Let me tell you, you guys had me in a chokehold trying to prepare for this interview because I said, "Oh Lord, <laughs> when I say it." Who do I say first? Do I say escape or SWV first? If I mess it up, no, I don't good. know what's going to happen. The title is SWV Escape Queens of Com Queens of Comedy. Oh. <laughs> Queens of Comedy. Yeah, it's, it's a comedy show for real. It's a comedy show. Queens of Comedy. Tell Tim. Yeah, it's, 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 you know that's the name of the show. So yeah, we're not really tripping over that. And so as we navigate this space, we're watching this play out and we see you just coming off of Real Housewives of Atlanta. How is that for you going from situation mm. to situation? <laughs> right. Because all eyes is on candy on Housewives. So <laughs> oh how are you navigating that space of just the cameras always on? Um, it's tough. I mean, I had to actually go straight from filming this show into filming Housewives season 15. Mm. That's not out yet, but... It was really tough because obviously it was a lot going on on the yeah. SWB Escape show. And it goes straight into filming that show with no break in between. That's tough. Um, but overall, I feel like with my group, it's the drama is a little bit more serious because this is our legacy. Mm -hmm. Like you said, it's been 30 years. Yeah. Um, even when the show is gone, Escape still can be here performing, doing concerts. Um, so the things that happen with my group, it stresses me out more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And just simply because, like, I always tell people we grew up together. Mm -hmm. And Escape was really my learning years of helping me become the woman that I am. Mm -hmm. You know, when other people have their college years or their high school years, I wasn't high school when I met them. So they were the years that molded me, the years that other people are in college. We were on tour, you yeah. know, touring the world. Yeah. Um, so those are, the th you know, this situation is just way more sensitive. And we see a lot of people on social media, they talk about, oh, this is scripted, this is not real. Not on the show. For mm. you guys, this is your real life. Mm -hmm. And then we have a bloodline connection to this thing. You know what I'm saying? So this isn't like we're doing something, then we're walking off set and we're smiling. This is a true 
emotional toll. Mm -hmm. Talk about that aspect of seeing this play out. You know the old saying is house business stays in the house. Mm -hmm. yes. ah! right yeah. in the house. This isn't that. And so as we continue to navigate that space, how do we rebound from that with kind of, you know, collecting ourselves because you guys took that break. Mm -hmm. But then you come back and you're like, wait a minute, it's still not handled. Mm -hmm. So you guys are trying to show other ladies like you can come back together, but it's hard work. I don't know. We showed them that you could come back together. <laughs> <laughs> we came back together. We came back together. Because it's three people right here. Okay, yeah. Candy, I got to give y'all props. Y'all did it. The things yeah. that are happening on the show are still happening. That's yeah. the thing. When you have a real situation, real life, and you connect it, have a true connection, when the cameras are off, that's, this is still going on. Mm -hmm. So the things that were happening during filming, so we, we filmed this last summer. Um, it's, it, we're still dealing with it, mm -hmm. you know. Um, it's and, almost summer. Yeah, it's almost <laughs> summer, and we're still in deal with, dealing with a lot of this stuff. So, I mean, I guess just as women, as, you know, like you said, with family and all those th different things playing into it, it's like, you know, you just have to be real about it and that know that it's a constant work in progress. And so I think that's important to hone in on because as we look at the series of reality TV, there are so many different reality shows being filmed in Atlanta. We're watching for the entertainment value, right? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, there is a group of women out there who are saying, ladies, we want y'all to get it together. We want to see positivity. <laughs> we want to see, you know, a resolution. Mm -hmm. What do you say to that audience that's rooting for the positivity? We want to see the same thing they want to see. Yeah. So we, we're hoping and praying that we can come back to that point. But until then, we just, we just got to live it out. Like, well, the positivity I think that we are now trying to show is that, you know, we three are still moving along as a unit, um, and we're still doing all the things that we've set out to do. You know, we are missing a member, but we are still moving, and we're still, you know, um, doing doing big things, you know, together. Yeah, we have a lot of concerts that are lined up from now all the way through the summer. Yeah. And so with that being said, you know, you just have to – Keep making it do what Yeah, it you do. know what they say, one monkey don't stop no show. Don't stop no show. That's a fact over here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, don't stop the chick. <laughs> hey, don't, don't stop the chick. No, definitely not. <laughs> and so now we are in, you know, sort of celebration mode. But we see you guys trying to make this tour happen. Mm -hmm. Where does that stand? And as far as also with you guys with new music, we know the harmonies of the 90s. <laughs> That's still there. You guys are still carrying that legacy. But can we expect, you know, anything new? Are we in the booth together individually? <laughs> What's going on? Um, I think individually we have things like Tamika has a record that she's about to yeah. drop. Uh, okay, you know how to drop it for real. Yes, she's, she's <laughs> going to drop it. She has been, she's been well talking about it, it so we're yeah. going to make her drop she, it. You're going to make me really have to drop yeah. it. Yeah, so drop it. <laughs> yeah no. Um, and, um, well, you know, Tasha's already dropping her project soon. Gospel um, album. Gospel album. Um, we are writers, everybody in the group. We have plenty of songs that's just sitting in the vault. So, yeah, we'll probably yeah. drop because some of those songs. Yeah. Or whatever, but we didn't really come into this with the intention of doing a new escape album. Mm -hmm. um, but do we have music that we could potentially put out? Yes. Um, I don't want to. You go ahead. You working on different artists right now? Yes, girl. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm working on my children mainly. Um, I have a another artist named Annie Tracy. She's also about to be released. She's amazing. Um, then I got my daughter Zanik. We're about to drop up. Uh, uh, an EP on her, a small, short EP. Mm -hmm. And then I got my son, King, you know, mm -hmm. all of my kids are doing something. Yeah. And then Can me and Candy do... Oh, and, and oh, Eris, yes. yes. <laughs> Eris, that's my little, my little star in the making. Um, but yeah, me and Candy also have some old songs that we kind of played on the show. Yeah. And everybody's asking for the songs, so we're thinking about maybe trying to release a few of them, you know. So we have songs in the vault. We just haven't decided to do any music for escape we'll decide today right now but you know yeah, going to the decide today. Today. Got it's it's already done. give me the exclusive okay we're gonna say we're gonna put it out here in the atmosphere we're gonna say next fall True. Let's say twenty-four. It's already sitting there. Already did Let's say never it. say never. I like that. It. Just like okay. It. I like that. We can we can live with that. Yeah. And especially as you guys, you know, you you're spending more time together, but mm -hmm. you still do have your individual families, your individual businesses. Mm -hmm. Candy, we've seen you, you know, people say reinvent yourself. I don't think it's that. I think it's 
showing the legs of entrepreneurship, you know, especially here in the Atlanta community. As we do celebrate Women's History Month, just talk about the, the work and the tools to inspire other women to keep themselves in the game. If something changes, doesn't mean that you have to, you know, fade to black. Well, exactly. Um, somebody said to me the other day, they was like, you're the queen of the pivot. I was like, oh, I like that. <laughs> but um, I think it's just more so like if you want to have longevity, you have to be able to have multiple sources of income. You have to be like constantly reinventing yourself. Like, you know, when people fall in love with you for one thing, you know, people easily get tired of like, oh, yeah, well, she's been doing that. It's like when you keep hitting them with something different, something new, it never allows people a chance to really get tired of mm -hmm. you. They may not like everything that you do, but typically it's going to be something that connects with them. Yeah. And so for me, I'm like, all of us, we all have so many things we want. Mm -hmm. So why mm -hmm. not do it? I just don't believe in, in telling myself I can't do anything. I'm mm -hmm. always telling myself, all right, my mom always say, if you can conceive the thought, you can make it happen. So if it comes in my brain one too many times, I'm like, oh, I was supposed to do that. Yeah. Right. And I just start, you know, working to make it happen. Mm -hmm. You know, um, people constantly have this, who's better than this person and who's better than that. Yeah. My thing is, I don't care if anybody thinks that if somebody is better than me, more talented, look better than me, whatever they think, I'm going to outwork you. Right. Yeah. It's the yeah, work. It's the work that goes that's into that's it. it. Speaking of that, we don't see groups like this anymore, especially with the harmony, with the longevity, with the lyrics. Lord, let's talk <laughs> about the lyrics, the storytelling. What do you guys think about the state of R&B for the women right now? That's funny. Uh, well, I think there are some women that's really coming back yeah. strong and representing for us. Yeah. What I think is they're not any groups out there anymore so right now i'm developing a girl group a younger young girl group that they can sing sing so um but i do feel like r&b is not the same as it was in the 90s meaning that you know r&b used to control the, the chart you know now it's hip-hop everything right. is rap is controlling the chart or whatever which is great but i do love the women that's now really standing out and representing the scissors the um her summer um, walker and uh, ari uh, lennox and yeah it's some women that's really you know stepping up and and like letting it be known that we can do this right. are you guys open to mentorship always yeah of course always i mean because i think I, the ladies just need a little guidance i feel you i always try to give advice but i don't really when they say mentorship like I be feeling like I'm moving too much to have like to be able to just sit with one person. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I think it, you can do it, uh, you know, over the phone. You know, just a call sometimes is enough. You know, to give per people, call, you know, call. some kind of confidence or whatever they need, or just answer some of their questions. You know, yeah. so we could do that. One yeah. thing I saw being talked about on the internet after the show Ooh. was <laughs> the ladies look like they did well with the coins. The ladies mm. look like they're living well Thank years you. later. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the sustainability and how we manage the fame to make sure that we're secure for our futures and secure for our families. You guys have been a great example of that. We've seen stories like the stories of TLC, well, what happens when you guys come into the industry at mm -hmm. a young age, but mm -hmm. we do see that you guys have maintained a very comfortable level of success. Let's mm -hmm. talk to new artists, especially in Atlanta with all these new people coming up mm -hmm. on how to do that right. Okay. Good. I think maintaining one, you got to keep reaching. You got to keep trying new things and, you know, evolving. You know what I'm saying? And just like Candy was saying, you know, just doing, trying new things and, and reaching. If you feel like, you know, it's something you want to do, just keep, you know, don't let it just be a thought. You know, for me, you know, I must say I have an amazing husband it helps with my stability, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Keeps me up here, you know what I'm saying? Thank you. And, um, you know, and I just, I mean, anything that I do is just an additive, like, you know, just, you know, to be creative because he pretty much, you know, he's got my back. She you know don't what need I'm any money. <laughs> well, well, okay, there's nothing wrong with that. She's good. She's well. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that's her advice. <laughs> I would say a lot of people, when they make it, they want to show off with chains and mm -hmm. by cars. It's like, you have to invest. You know, real estate, that's where the money is. 
So just yes. knowing that, just showing out for your friends, that shame is not going to help you in 10 years. You got to mm-hmm. think about, is this purchase going to help me? And, yes. you know, just think wisely whenever yeah. you do that. And just educate yourself on finances. Mm-hmm. I think I always tell people in live below your means, even though you can afford that, you know, half a million dollar house, million dollar house. It doesn't mean that's the one that you need to get right now, um, because people don't understand when they get these loans, you know, 15 year, 30 year loan. Just because you popping right now, 10 years from now, 15, 30 years from now, doesn't mean you can still afford that same type of note. Um, I remember when I first got my house, LL Cool J told me, he was like, every time you get some money, he said, put it towards the principal, like, so you can pay down what you own the house so that you can at, own at least one house. He was like, because in this industry, everything is up and down. So you always want to have at least one house you own and one car that you own. So mm-hmm. that was like my goal to like pay off my house as soon as I could. And I feel like that really helped, you know, in the slow times, because it's like, if you don't really have any bills, then you can easily, you know, maintain and do what you need to do. I've always told people, live below your means. Even though this is an industry where people love being flashy, want to live way above their means. Um, As far as like with other groups that you've seen, yes, no, our first deal wasn't like a huge deal. We didn't make a lot of money off of our first. Our first, our second, our third. Which one you talking about? Just name all of them. (laughs) Yeah, so it's not like, um, you know, we got rich off of you know our first few albums even though we had multiple platinum albums Mm -hmm. but um you know you just have to have you know be smart with the money that you do make lastly what can we expect for the rest of the season what can you guys tell us about the rest of the season for queens of r&b that's not too much of a spoiler major more drama it's the drama (laughs) is besides the drama you get to see uh us behind the scenes a lot of people they just see us on stage and they see us on Outfits, we smile and we singing, but what does it take to put that show together? It's so you definitely get a little insight of behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it's definitely an insight behind the scenes. You get to see two groups that you actually love, mm-hmm. like battle out our, our differences and come together at some point to do something very extraordinary for our fans, our people. And so I think we are all looking forward to see that play out, and we do want resolutions we do want it to be candy looking like we do we would love resolutions too (laughs) um you know just we have a lot of concerts coming up um with the three of us so i always tell people go on Ticketmaster and because it's a long list so i just want everybody to go in and get your tickets so you can come see the show because everybody y'all was talking about when you come in here when you come in here go on Ticketmaster and find out find your city and if your city is not on there it Call your people be. and tell her to book us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We are looking forward to the shows, ladies. Mm-hmm. And you guys have a great summer run. And we know it's going to be awesome. Thank and you. And we will all be singing to the top of our lungs in the audience. Thank, Thank you. you.